Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install two mods that I think are essential to having a uh, realistic patrol, uh, whether you role play for the fun of it or whether you create content for viewers or 5M. I think these are must have mods. Uh, and scripts for your game um, to to do this you are going to need your main directory and you're going to need open IV so go ahead and start uh, your open IV and click that to open that up and get that running and then we can minimize it I already have mine up and ready to go so we're just going to minimize that for the time being um, and first thing we are going to do is down below you're going to click that link player location display volume 4.00 and it's going to bring you to this page right here now you may have seen this what it's going to do is within your game it's going to uh, show you this little fun facts right here it's going to show you what direction you're facing um, what what street you're on what cross streets coming up the area and the county or uh, zip code area that you're in okay very cool very cool very cool mod so go ahead and click the download this file and you can agree and download oh well, I've already got it but yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do it again. And mine's gonna download right above my taskbar here. You can download it to your desktop or a downloads folder, anywhere is where you can find it. Um, I use WinRAR, so that's by default. This is where it sends it. So, and we can go ahead and exit out of this page. And go ahead and click the next link below, which is going to say Realistic Street Locations 1.0. And that'll bring you to this page. Now, as you can see here, it's got your street names. Now, it doesn't have the street names in your mini map, but when you pause the game, um, it'll bring up all of this stuff here and it'll show you what what the addresses are in these these not only do well the number of addresses don't show up on your player location display but um, these streets coincide with your player location display so if you're driving down Vespucci it'll show you on your player location display that you're coming up to uh, Power Street so it's pretty cool and they work great with each other so go ahead and click the green download button and same thing save it to your desktop to your downloads folder wherever you save your files to just as long as you can get back to it and then you can exit out of the web browser for that and we are all set with those now what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring up your file Explorer and I will give you the pathway to get to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. That's what we're gonna need. Um, mine is in my disk, my uh, C drive. Um, I don't know, you know, wherever you have your game installed, whatever drive your game is installed in. Like I said, I use Steam, so um, I'm gonna double click my C drive. I'm gonna go to Program Files times 86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Now this is going to bring me right here. Now, one thing I want to say, okay, I'm going to show you how to 
back up your files or remove these these mods if you don't like them or they make a game clash they really shouldn't they don't really affect um, gameplay or anything like that uh, besides just making it cooler um, you always always whatever main file you have here whether it's the original Grand Theft Auto see I down here I have an original Grand Theft Auto untouched no mods no LSPDFR this one I installed the LA Lakers arena and I backed up my game file before I did it this one has it this one doesn't if this file if you've been playing on it great no crashes it, everything works great and you want to install these mods here's what you do left click right click copy go down here to this open area left click right click paste okay you'll see a box come up that's gonna have a little green filler in it that's gonna show you the uh, the the copying you know the progress of the copying the file it takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how much stuff you have in it but well worth it guys you know how many times I was up shit creek without a paddle because I installed the wrong mod or even though I was following what or watching the tutorial I dropped the file in the wrong spot it becomes a pain in the ass do yourself a favor make a copy make a couple of copies if you have the disk space and trust me if you make a mistake you'll thank me okay also go up here to your main file left click it right click it and pin it to quick access okay that's gonna bring it right over here so now next time you ever want to put mods in you can click that and go right here you don't have to go through your disk drive and all that you can just click Grand Theft Auto and boom here we are guys we are right here in the main directory okay so now that we are here in our main directory go ahead and bring up the player location display WinRAR now here is our installation files as you can see you're gonna to want to click installation files Grand Theft Auto and here are our two files pld.ini pld.asi now before you grab anything let me show you something okay when you grab these files and you bring them over if you see anything highlight like that do not drop it in those you see all these folders want to take it and this down here these GTA 5 and the language select and the launcher want to take it if you do that you're gonna mess everything up what I like to do is I like to drag and drop my things right here I call this the buffer zone right here okay so you're gonna highlight these two things and you're gonna drag them over and you're gonna drop them right here okay I'm not gonna do it because I already had this installed I've had this installed forever it's a man I love this I love this uh, the script man it's great so now that that's in there you can go ahead and exit out of that WinRAR and you can scroll on down here and there it is right there the PLD PLD.ASI this PLD with this little sprocket that is your INI you can go in there and this is for multiplayer where it'll show obituaries you can change any of that to, to true if you want um, I don't really do the multiplayer much this right here is pretty much the default of what came with the um, with the install files I didn't touch anything in it I don't think you really need to but if there you know this changes the you know the location on the lo the screen location that all your stuff will be but um i would just i would just leave that alone so we can exit out of that now if you for some reason don't like this mod okay what you're going to do is you're going to go back come back into your grand theft auto main directory and it's as simple as this you're going to hit control and you're gonna highlight all three of these files these PLD files PLD stands for player location display you're gonna right click it and you're just gonna delete them okay and that's it the the mod will be removed from your game and you'll never see it again unless you reinstall it okay so that is it for the player location display super simple install okay so hit your little refresh button up here and you can exit out of your file Explorer now bring up your open IV okay so here we are in open IV make sure you uh, hit your edit mode 
Okay, it's going to bring up that little box there. Go ahead and click yes. Now, I'm going, I'm going to give you the pathway that we need to go to. Go down to your WinRAR and bring up your realistic street map uh, WinRAR files, okay? As you can see, we have seven total files that we need to put into our OpenIV. First, we're going to start with the minimap ones, okay? What you want to do is you're going to need the time 64 as in uh, B, as in boy. So before we do anything, make, if you don't have it over here, go over here and you're going to click it. And you see how when you click it, it says show in mods folder. Go ahead and um, click that button. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy that into your mods folder. So whenever you click mods, you're going to have the time 64 B over here. Okay. Once you do that, once you're in your mods folder, you're going to click times 64 B as in boy. Then you're going to click data, CD images, scale form underscore generic dot RPF. Click that. Now, up here, you're going to see this little search bar, okay? We want to type in, if you type in just mini, it's going to bring up the files that we need, okay? So go ahead and go up to that search bar, type in M-I-N-I. -I. And here they are, minimap underscore C underscore zero underscore zero dot YTD zero one one zero one one two zero two one. And they're all right here. This is what you want to do, folks, okay? This is very important. If for some reason you go in to your game and you hit your pause menu and you don't like the way your map looks or whatever because it does it changes the whole look of your pause menu map doesn't change your mini map while you're playing the game just the pause menu map what you want to do is go to your desktop and right click and you're gonna click new and you're gonna click folder okay and you can name this uh, uh, OG uh, GTA map okay and we're gonna save it OG or means original GTA map what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to hold in your control key and you're gonna want to select mini map underscore C underscore zero 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 one one zero one one two zero two one then you're going to want to go, you're going to want to grab them, all six of these files, and bring them on over here to this folder that we just created. Now, if anything happens with your install, okay, or not just happens with your install, if you put it in the wrong file, then you're screwed. If you don't see what I'm seeing right now, and you put these, these in the wrong thing, then you're, you know, then hopefully you made a backup of your um, GTA folder like I showed you with player location display okay so just click here so we unhighlight those now if you look in here there's all your original files okay this makes it so if you don't like the map you can always go back to this video follow the steps to get back to this area here then what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click this highlight all these right you're gonna highlight all these and then drag these back in and drop them in there and it'll replace the realistic street locations that we're going to put in okay so now that we got that saved i'm going to go ahead and delete this don't delete it i'm going to delete it because i've already got them saved right here and uh it didn't affect my game i love it so i have no um I have no want to go back to the original one, so I'm going to delete that folder. Okay, so over here in your WinRAR, you're going to select just the minimap ones, 00 through 216 files right here. Do not pick installation, do not pick map, map zoom data, just these six right here. 
and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click them you're gonna drag them on over here and you're gonna drop them in okay you're gonna see these uh, these size files probably change up a little bit okay um, and I believe yeah see if you double click it you'll see that it took okay you'll see uh, this is that part of the map and you know if you click this one it's gonna be that part of the map and you'll see all the numbers that are now in your map and so if you see that boom you know it worked okay so now that we got the mini map underscore C's put in go ahead and uh, double click your mods folder so we go back to the to the main oh we forgot to I'm sorry go back up to your search bar and click it and get rid of that that mini stuff I don't know why it doesn't automatically take itself out of there but it does and then double click your mods folder so it brings you back to your main front page right here and now we need to put in this map zoom data dot meta file and this one is pretty pretty simple this is the pathway for this so we're gonna click mods then we're gonna go over to common dot rpf which again if you don't have this over here it's right here in the bottom you're gonna click it and it'll bring this up right here go ahead and click show in mods folder okay so now whenever you click mods you'll have your common dot rpf right there all right so double click common dot rpf then you're gonna to go to data then you're gonna go right here to UI and click UI and as you can see you'll see it right here map zoom data dot meta okay it's right there that's what we're gonna be now yours probably says compressed encrypted okay mine doesn't say encrypted anymore so you're gonna grab just the map zoom data okay leave the mini maps alone we're done with those just the map zoom data bring it over here down to this bottom area here and let it go and once you let it go you'll see that yours is gonna to go to just compressed and that is it folks you can go ahead and exit out of your WinRAR go up here to file and close all archives and click your edit mode and that is it exit out of open IV and I will see you guys in the game alrighty folks here we are in the game and we'll just go hit a couple of streets real quick. Oof, man, I really love the way this car sounds. Alright, so as you can see down there by our mini map, we've got our player location display. And if you go ahead and look right here in your map, now as you can see on your mini map, um, everything is, is right there. And, you know as as normal looks completely normal but when you hit your start button um, it go ahead it, it you know it changes your whole map on um, you know and it now has the uh, postal codes which are all the house numbers it's got all your streets as you can see Carcer way and you look on the mini map on the player location display Carcer way so the white is the street that you're on the yellow or gold whatever that's on your player location display is going to be the crossroad that you're coming up to so Abe Milton Parkway and Abe Milton Parkway so once you have that in you know you're good to go and and uh, so now when you're doing your patrols, um, you can give better descriptions on where you are, what street you're on, uh, what postal code or what uh, uh, property number or whatever that you're next to. And if you're doing chases, you know, as you're chasing a guy, you know what street you're on and what street you are coming to, coming up to, and what direction you're heading. So it's, like I said, it's awesome to have for multiplayer. Um, especially if you're role playing, uh, you know, as police officers with with um, other people, you can let them know what direction you're going. 
So that is it, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, don't forget to back up your files. Don't forget to save them in the new folder. And, uh, you know, always cover your ass. Like I said, I, I've had both of these mods installed in my game for a long time now. And I've never had or heard of these mods causing any issues. So um, you're totally 100% safe to go ahead and, and put them in. All right. So with that being said, that's about it. Uh, enjoy. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe. And uh, ring that bell so you know when new content's added. All right, guys. Take care. Be, be safe. Be healthy. Until next time, Jeffrey Gamer is...